Hi guys, Mike back again with another HMS Victory update. And we've been busy, <laughs> busy building um, yards, basically. Now, for those of you not in the know, and those of you who have not followed the previous video, the yard is the horizontal yard that goes across the mast to hold the sails, effectively. Um, so we've built them all. Well, built them all for the main mast and the foremast. So where we've got the main, this is the main mast components. So we've built the main yard, and we've built the main top mast yard, and we've built the main top gallant yard. So this one is first, so they, they're the wrong way basically. So that'll be at the bottom of the mast, that'll be next, and then that'll be up there. So that's the kind of layout of the mast with the main mast going up through the central section there. So there are all the yards for the main mast. So we'll just move these out of the way. Uh, may they take a little while. I mean, you'll see that we've got all of these rigging blocks that have to be rigged up um, individually. Let's just get some focus going. Yeah, so they, they are all rigged up individually. So they're quite a challenge. They're very time consuming. So we've got those. So that's all the main mast. And then we've got the stuff coming in. And again, I appreciate it's the wrong way around. These are the ones for the foremast. So the front mast. Um, and we've got the the four yard, which is the big one, and then the four topsail yard, which is the next one, and the four top gallant yard, which is the last one. HMS Victory's got three masts in total, so we've got the four yard. I've just shown you the the yards. Sorry, the the four mast, and that's all the yards for the four mast. We've got the main mast, and I've just shown you those. And we've got the mizzen mast, which sits at the back or the aft of the ship, and uh, we're going to have to build three yards. Uh, for the mizzen mast as well, but that's not quite yet. So to mix it up a bit, as with all of these part works, they give you other things to do as you are, uh, so you don't get bored, basically. So what we're doing next, doing a bit of painting, um, doing some detail work. We've got some, these are called riggles, and they sit above some of the gun ports, not all of them. So we just sort of base coated them, basically, sort of just started to prime them. And then we've got the entry port, the entry way basically for the um, entry ports on both sides of the ship. Um, and it's quite cool actually, because I went, I went, I did go and see Victory a few months ago, uh, back in December actually. And um, you know, this is what you walk through. You walk through one of these to get into the ship. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, that's quite cool. So obviously we've got the components for each side of the ship. Right, now we've also got the Victory herself, I've started painting it-ish. Oh no, we won't use that a second. I'll just show you what we've done. Without trying to drop the thing. I don't know how much we're gonna get in here. <laughs> might, need to, might need to lift the camera up. Okay, all right, so what we've done. What we've done, and again, I'll just show you one side because um, it's exactly the same on both sides. So what we've done, we've built some stairs so this is the entry port, so that little um, cast metal cast piece I've just shown you. When you go and visit Victory, you walk through one of these entry ports, basically, and through one of those, um, you know, uh, nice uh, entry port surrounds, if you like. Um, on, the, on the sides of each ship, on the sides, on the side, sorry, on each side of the ship, you've got these stairs. So I've cut out, these are made up of two pieces of, of wood. Um, you, you get a, a step and a, and a recess bit, so that goes round the um, entry port there. And then I've just started putting these bits in, which are going to accommodate the fenders. So these are just the um, sections of wood that you're not going to see, but just builds up the uh, builds it up basically past the whales. These are called whales. <laughs> these are extra bits here. Um, so this builds up slightly, so you can you can I can bend a piece of wood. Um, see if I've got it. So we'll shape a bit of a bit of wood and then that's going to kind of go there basically. So I'll have one on each side and then there's one over here as well. Um, on the other side, because this is the cutout side, it comes down to about there, I think. But clearly it's not going to come down that far because we've got our cutaway. Um, so that's that. So it's all kind of timing stuff now. I need to stick, I need to prime the wriggles, which I've just shown you, and put them on. So they, they go, like I say, they go above some of the gun ports. There's one that goes here, so I've cut a little notch out. 
Um, they tend to go kind of on the backs of these, then there's a couple up here. Anyway, there's 13 on each side initially. Um, and then once the wriggles are on, <laughs> um, I can paint the hull. You'll notice that some, some painting is happening. Um, it looks really rough at the moment. Well, we're, in, we're in painting and sanding mode at the moment, so clearly it's going to look a bit rough at the moment. So once the wriggles are on, I can paint the whole side of the ship, both sides, yellow, um, a yellow ochre colour, and then do the black banding. You'll notice here I've started doing black, so I've, I've basically the black banding is pretty much, but not quite, um, basically the whales, these, these um, reinforced sections here, so here, 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 these are pretty much, they follow the line, they're all black if you're going for the Trafalgar colours, and then everything in, the, everything in between, so you've got the bits where the gun ports are, they're basically all yellow. There's there's a little bit of overlap, and it does say in the instructions, and when you go and see the ship, the the, the yellow and black don't follow the whales, and they don't follow the these sections where the gun ports are, which is a bit of a pain, because it would be much easier if it did. Um, but we'll see how we go. So I've started painting the hull. Yeah, finally, we've got some paint on the hull. Um, I know it looks rough. <laughs> Um, but what we're doing, this is first coat of the copper, they, they supply you with some copper paint, um, but it's it's really old copper paint. They give you this stuff, um, copper paint, but it's all kind of, I mean it, it is it is paint, but it's all solidified in there, there's huge chunks of dried up paint in there, which is, you know, whatever. Um, so when I painted the hull with that, it kind of um, left residue bits and uh, you know, lumpy bits. So anyway, I've painted it. I mean, it'll be good for a prime coat, if nothing else. So I've painted it copper, as you can see. Gone back in and done some filling with some wood filler of kind of an approximate colour. Um, and sanded it back. So this is where we are at the moment. So I've painted it, sanded it, filled it again. And then I'm going to re I'm going to sand it again and then paint it again and see what we look like. Um, although I have noticed, I mean, obviously those of you that follow my channel know that I'm a Citadel Miniatures, miniature painter as well. Um, Balthazar Gold is a very close approximation to the copper paint. So that's what we might do. Anyway, so that's where we're up to. Any questions, queries, comments, let me know. And uh, we'll call that one done. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.